Okay, folks, I can't remember if I did this comparison before or not, but uh, there still seems to be some mindset out there that the Springfield XD is a direct copy of the Glock. It's pretty much a copycat. Uh, a lot of people had that mindset when the XD came out on the U.S. market, and there are some people that still say that. They say, hey, why would I want to get an XD? It's just a copy of the Glock. Uh, I'll just stick with the original and stick with the Glock. I don't want a copycat. So let me show you something here real quick. What I'm going to do is take this Glock, Glock 22, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do a basic disassemble right here, just like so. And then I'm going to do the same to the XD. And I'm going to point out some differences because in all actuality, the XD is honestly nothing like the Glock in my opinion. Sure, it's a semi-automatic. Sure, it's striker-fired. And there are a couple similarities mainly being, well, it's striker fired, it has the same type of action, it does have that safe action style trigger, so yes, granted, XD did take, or I should say HS2000 did take that from Glock. But I'm going to show you some things that uh, show that the XD is nothing like the Glock. Um, first off, just a couple things, it has a protruding striker right here, and up here, is your uh, loaded chamber indicator. The Glock does not have that. The takedown lever, instead of having two levers down here that you uh, pull down in order to field strip the uh, handgun, this has a lever where you have to lock the slide back, like so, then you swivel the lever up, which is nothing like the Glock. So in any case, I'll go ahead and take it down. You do have to um, press the trigger to ensure the slide comes off. So I'll set this to the side, and what we're going to do is we're going to compare the interior. Now right off the bat, you can see a difference in between or uh, between the Glock and the XD. Recoil block is different. Shape of the trigger bar is different. It's a lot of things that are different. So you can't really call this a copy. In fact, um, if you want to call anything a copy, you can call the Smith & Wesson Sigma series an almost direct copy of the Glock. In fact, Smith & Wesson got sued uh, because of it. Now, if you look just at the underside, this is the Glock set up right here under the slide, or the under end of the slide, and then next to it right here is the XD. You can see there's some similarities, but you can see there's differences. Mainly, you've got an internal extractor on the XD, external on the Glock. You can see uh, right here the striker assembly is completely different. Basically bottom line is these are different guns. They're very similar. It's a striker fired gun and there's a lot of similar guns out on the market. But these are very different guns. In fact it can be argued, uh, like I just said, the Sigma is almost ex just exactly like the Glock and the Smith & Wesson M&P has a lot of similarities to the Glock much more so than the XD. So I just wanted to show that little similarity, uh, uh, the lack of similarities rather, between the two guns and point out that there's more similarities between Smith and Wesson. So honestly, if you want to make a argument and say, hey, there's a company that's copycat and Glock, I think Smith and Wesson is a little bit more of the culprit versus the XD. So all right, thanks a lot for watching. As always, stay safe.